The Christmas presents have been unwrapped. The cards have been received. Then comes the reaction that we have been taught from little on and that also comes directly from the heart. Thank you. I'm sure that all of us have used that phrase a number of times in these past days. People have remembered us. They have been kind to us. They have given out of love and concern for us, and our reaction comes from our heart. Thank you. Remembering us? Love and concern for us? Kindness? Gifts? Our God invented the concept. We just got done in Christmas, in our Christmas joining together in worship, thanking God for his indescribable gift, our Savior Jesus Christ. Stained from sin, or stained by sin from birth, and having on a daily basis offended our God with, with the results of that original sin, with our sinful words and actions, we stood in worship with the shepherds quaking in fear as we stood surrounded by the glory of a holy God. But we also heard the news with them that came from the angel, who said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. A Messiah, the Savior, has been born for you. Yes, our loving Lord God, in his kindness and in his goodness, has given us the greatest gift that we ever will receive, that anyone could receive. A Redeemer, a Savior, who would purchase and win us by his own blood, from all sin, from death, and from the power of the devil. We can join the psalm writer of Psalm 118 and say, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. And along with our Lord Jesus, our God has graciously given us all things. One blessing after another we receive through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's how we live our lives. That's how we finish out this year. That's how we look forward to stepping in to the next year. Surrounded by God's blessings for this life and for the next. Surrounded by God's goodness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now one distinct blessing that we receive from the hand of our God is the connection or the fellowship that we enjoy with our fellow Christians. And I want to highlight today the particular fellow Christians who are joined together with us as a family in our own congregation. And if you happen to be tuning in from a different congregation, then think of the fellow members that you have in your own, your own congregation and that intimate family that you enjoy together with them. All of them, Everyone that you see when you go to church, everyone that you know that isn't able to come to church, maybe, maybe because of health reasons or, or age, whatever the case may be, every single one is important to the Lord Jesus. That means every single one of those fellow family members in our church membership are important to one another, important to us. The Apostle Paul wrote as he talked to the Philippian congregation in chapter 1, I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. In addition, we can be truly thankful not only for those people, but also for the benefits that we receive as a congregation through their efforts and generosity. Blessings that come down to us through the unseen labors of so many, many people. Recently, I was able to enjoy a, a dinner and a play at our renowned dinner theater in our town. And the play was, was great. The, the food was wonderful. The performance went from beginning to end without a hitch. But if you look closely in the corners of, of the big theater room or in the corner door close to the kitchen, from time to time, you can catch glimpses of scores of people scurrying and working literally behind the scenes to get all of these things accomplished so smoothly. You already know this, but I want, to, <clears throat> I want to highlight this fact for you again today. The same is true in your congregation. It is, of course, the Lord who provides all blessings, including the talents and the motivation for countless volunteers who serve. But like Paul, we are thankful not only, only to the Lord for them, 
but we are thankful to them also. It would be impossible, and that is not an overstatement at all. It would be impossible to think of all the projects and preparations and all of the tasks and time that is supplied by, by so many people behind the scenes at church on a regular basis. All of these extra efforts that are put in by so, so many people provide blessings that all of us as members of the congregation benefit from. The things that get built, the things that get cleaned, the things that get straightened and arranged, the things that get written and prepared and printed and provided and prayed for and paid for, for the benefit of all of us, are immeasurable. If you could be stationed at your church building for one week's time and could just simply observe and watch the, the comings and the goings on a daily basis and see all the people and the effort, again, that is put in behind the scenes to the glory of God, I promise you, I promise you, you would be amazed. It's like the dinner theater. No one but God knows all the work that gets done in the hidden corners, or seen by no one. But it gets done. And that includes the prayers, and the offerings, and the encouraging words that, um, that come also at home, or at other places. It doesn't all get done inside the church building. But we all enjoy the rewards. Another of God's blessings. We're thanking God in this Christmas season, and always, for His indescribable gift, in sending Jesus Christ as our Savior, as our Redeemer. And we're thanking our family and we're thanking our friends for our annual Christmas gifts. So also, at this moment, on behalf of our congregation, to all our fellow members who are part of the unseen efforts, great and small, to further the gospel among us, thank you. Whatever we see at church, whatever we see that has gotten done, one way or another, or prepared, one of you, or many of you, put in time, effort, or resources to get it done. And most of us will never know who did it, and most of us might never even know the names behind the scenes, but we benefit. We thank God, like the Apostle Paul said, when we remember you because of your partnership in the gospel. So thanks again, everyone. As we close out this year and as we look forward to another year of God's grace as a Christian family at our congregation, thanks to everyone. Merry Christmas and a blessed new year in the Lord.